great. My name's Chris Williams. This is the Game Informer community video thingy, and let's start it off real nice and sweet for the lovers, the dreamers, and me. It's time for the topic of the week. Now, last week, we looked back upon 2015 and discussed our favorite games of the year. Pretty sure this little thing called Metal Gear 1? Haven't heard of it, but I'm sure it's some sort of indie darling. You crazy over buddies. But now that we've looked into the past, it only makes sense that we go back to the future. So, over buddies, what's your most anticipated game slash video games of 2016? Aren't aware of what's coming out this year? Don't worry, Mike Futter crushed it like he always does with a list of everything announced so far. Link down below. Me personally, I think there's too much coming out. And if this YouTube thing doesn't make me rich, then by the end of the year, I'm going to be living in a box next to a van down by the river. So, most anticipated games of 2016, let me know down below. Now it's time for the community shout out. I'm not sure if you're aware or not, but the community is filled with awesome sauce. Logan Ryan, who I've talked about before, continues to make best of replay videos. The young man has gotten to video the number quattro, which means four in Swahili. You're welcome for the education lesson. My good God, how awesome is this young boy here? I swear he is so talented and so special. I know the community is constantly getting new members, so if you're looking for a good place to start with replay, I actually would suggest Logan's videos. Also, have you heard of AerobicalLang.com? Have you not heard of it? Have you heard of the queen of the internet? Please, my friends. Okay, here's what you're going to do. Okay, you're going to go click the link down below to RebeccaLang.com. Not now. Wait till my video is over, and then you're going to go see the greatness. You're just going to go see what a greatness looks like on the internet. Why should you go? Because she has a constant flow of content. I should not write these scripts in the middle of the night. RebeccaLang.com. Also, if you're interested in reading more things, the blog hurting section is down there as well. Did you get featured? Let me know. I'll mention it next time. A lot of you guys have usernames, and I don't really know if it's you or if it's Squirtle Fiddle Diddle 27. I don't know these things, okay? But just let me know in the future, okay? Because I want to let everybody know how awesome you are. This light is melting me. I'm blind! Ah! Now into the important thing, Nick. Over. Blood Martino is a cage fighter. Nope, not that kind of cage fighter, though you'd be a lot cooler if you were, my friend. Mr. Martino, as his bitches call him, had a fight this week, posted the video on his Facebook page, and boy did I geek the fuck out. MMA is in my top three of favorite things, so it's it's awesome. It's so freaking cool, buddy, that you do this. i link to his Facebook page so you can keep up with what he's doing is down below. Also down there, RebeccaLane.com, Logan Ryan's best of re play videos and the blog hurting section. I mean, it's what more do you want from us? I mean, really. Losing my mind. Now it's time for the thing that keeps the lights on, Game Informer. This week we got a hilarious podcast where the crew talks about their latest cover story, Doom. Ben Hansen discovers a little gym called Battle Trains, a game where you fight with trains. I don't even know what that means. And the crew discusses which is better, chocolate chip or those gross-ass mint cookies. I'll let you decide. We've also got episode three and four of the Super Replay Martian Gothic. Tim, my friend, all I can say is I didn't, I didn't choose this. Okay, I didn't want it. I wanted good. Remember last week I said good things. You know, Cooney, Indigo Prophecy, Global Gladiator, some of the greatest games of all time. These, these community members, they, they made you pick that. They made you play that. I didn't want it. Okay, people, this game, awful, isn't isn't even strong enough to describe it, okay? I thought that Overblood 2 was going to be the worst game they'd ever played, but not even close, okay? Go watch it. It's the only way you'll you'll know the truth. It's the only way. It's the only way you'll know the truth about what's out there, okay? And to round things out, we've got a pretty great test chamber where uh, some some guys, some people, maybe you've heard of them, they went and uh, they went and checked out the Ouya's Marketplace, which is basically just a mass grave of just terrible indie games. Early preview of that video. Well, when a game that is literally just a clock appearing on your television is the best game available, you done goofed, son. You done goofed. Well, that's it for episode 38 of the Game Informer community video thingy. Thanks for watching, and remember that if you are watching for some reason, it can only mean one thing. You're awesome. 
Later, guys. Uh -oh. But this is one of my favorite super replays so far. No. <laughs> Why is it? Because it is our biggest challenge yet. Mm. Why is it the harder it is for me, the more of a good time everyone has? It's really confusing to me. Is this the fine? Is this where I'm made, where everyone realizes I'm not really good at games? This is not a games. No, I'm a coffee drinker, but I use a traditional coffee mug. Oh, a traditional? What yeah. does it say? Hot daddy?